Well, good morning, everyone. Today is August the 31st. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your spiritual principle a day in a meditation. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is our Hood Recovery Services. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let me repeat that. I, my voice is cracking at this age. <laughs> That's amazing. Recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get into that screen. Okay, here we go. Fidelity to the NA message. Fidelity suggests that we are true and faithful to our message, that it is consistent on all occasions. Guiding principles, tradition 10, spiritual principles. As a spiritual principle, fidelity signifies loyalty and commitment. We clarify our shared understanding of the disease of addiction and our common solution when we share the NA message with fidelity. Translators think similarly about fidelity as a concept in their work. In translations, NA or otherwise, Fidelity refers to how well a translated document corresponds to the original. Although computers can substitute the words of one language with those of another, the results often make little sense. It takes a human touch and the work of a skilled translator's to convey the meaning, style, and tone of any piece of writing. They do more than transcribe, they interpret. In Narcotics Anonymous, local translation committees and their professional partners assure that translated literature is faithful to our message. That, that's no easy task. Each new language group has to grapple with words and phrases like addict, clean, and the disease of addiction to figure out how to capture their meaning, essence, and spirit in the target language. NA members serving on local translations committees play an important role in ensuring fidelity. Their experience with the NA program and often impressive language skills help to ensure that translated NA letter literature precisely reflects the ideals and the spirit of the original. Whether translating literature, speaking at a Unity Day celebration, or sharing with our home group, we strive to use NA language with the same precision. A clear NA message is about more than avoiding certain words. Clarity comes from living the NA way and addressing the disease of addiction with our program of recovery. When our predecessors wrote, we admitted we were powerless over our addiction. They focused step one on the disease, not the drugs. This stroke of genius makes the first step relevant to members at any phase of recovery. When we use NA language to convey our experience with fidelity, we contribute to an atmosphere of identification for all to hear. The NA message mirrors our experience. Fidelity to it solidifies our bond with other members and our common solution. As I share and listen, I will make an effort to faithfully connect the dots between lived experience and the proposition that any addict an addict, any addict, can stop using drugs, lose the desire to use, and find a new way of li a new way to live. That's beautiful. I felt like this was so well written. It was a beauty to read. It was joyful to read, and I understood every part of it. 
we're talking about fidelity to the NA message. A lot of times um, we don't even use the term fidelity anymore. We think about fidelity uh, as a spiritual principle that describes a person who is loyal, committed, faithful uh, to their mate. That's what we think about. We think about fidelity in terms of relationships. We think about fidelity in terms of whether or not a woman is faithful to her husband or if she sleeps around and cheats on him or vice versa, a man. Does he cheat on his wife? Is he faithful? Um, so when we think about fidelity, the opposite of that is infidelity uh, or fidelity as in loyalty and commitment. And infidelity is disloyal and non-committal. So that's the terms that we look at it mostly. We don't really think of it in regards to being a spiritual principle that is able to be transferred to all of our affairs. So... Fidelity to the football team that you agree to be a part of means that you show up to practice and you do the work and you carry your weight to be a part of the team. Fidelity to your banking institution means that whenever you need something, a loan or a mortgage or whatever it is financial you need, it means that you are loyal to your financial institution and they've worked with you all this time. Why won't they work with you now? There's no need for you to bank with um, Fifth Third and Wells Fargo, right? There, you're, you're faithful, you're loyal. And so you deposit your money into their bank, they earn interest on your money, right? And when you need money or more money than you have actually deposited, or they give you some uh, some interest also, depending on how la large your amount is in their bank, they give you a small benefit of having some interest added back into your account. Basically, you're loaning them money they're using your money to get more money on the international system, right? And then so they think, well, let's give give her back 1% of her total average or average balance for the month. You're faithful to them, right? And so we think about fidelity as just being faithful or loyal. And you should really be able to experience fidelity in every area of your life. That's that's the end game, right? That's where we're trying to go with this. We're trying to go to the point where we're productive members of society because we can be counted on to display fidelity in all our affairs. So now when what does that mean? That means that when they hire you over someone else, they hired the best person because you understand fidelity. You understand loyalty and commitment. You understand showing up to the job, not high without anything in your system. You understand that. And because you have clarity, because you have a clear mind, you work harder and you work smarter, right? They need you now over the next person. They need you. Fidelity to the NA message is just the same thing. Being loyal to the message. And our message is a very clear NA message. And so we want to be able to say that as we share and we listen, we will be faithful to make the effort to take our own life experience in the promise of Narcotics Anonymous come together 
and display. Our gratitude speaks when we care and when we share in the NA way, right? So the NA message is an addict, any addict can stop using drugs, lose the desire to use and find a new way of uh, a new way to live. Okay, so what's that new way? And how do how do you experience it? How did you experience a new way of living? And can you take that experience and and wrap it up with a bow and present it in your share so that the newcomer understands that if you could do it, they could do it, right? How, what was your experience with stopping? Not not stop and then start, but the staying stop. When you actually made up in your mind to stay stopped, what was that like? And can you carry that message clearly so that the newcomer can receive that? That's fidelity, people, right? That's fidelity. That's loyalty and commitment to the NA message. When we think about losing the desire to use, when did you experience, when did you wake up and say, I don't even have a desire to use? I haven't had a desire to use in so long. Like, can you remember? Or is it just something that rolls off your mouth, something that you you say because everybody else says it, because it's here in print, right? Part of our NA message, is it real to you? Do you really know when you lost the desire or did you just wake up and it was gone? And what what year around in your recovery was that? Did you lose a loved one and you realize you didn't even have a desire to sh to put anything on top of that, <laughs> right? Did you lose a, a loved one and stayed clean no matter what? If you did, probably nine times out of 10, the desire to use had been lifted. It wasn't even an option anymore, was it? For some people it is. And if that's you, that's okay. This is this is uh, a journey without a destination, and you're sure you're. If you keep coming to meetings and interacting with people in recovery and learning the spiritual principles and applying them in all your affairs, you'll get there. Quitting isn't. I mean, it's an option, but I like to say quitting is not an option because when you quit, you got you you have to reboot and start back over. We've come too far. So today, think about your fidelity to the NA message. On a scale of one to 10, where is your fidelity to the NA message? 10 being like top-notch, excellent. I carry the NA message. And if that's you, congratulations. Continue to do so. Storms come our way. It doesn't change the need for us to stay clean or so anything else for anyone else for that matter, right? If you're saying like a two or a three, you know, you really don't believe in the NA message, but you know that you're on paper, excuse me, and you must, you must absolutely stay clean. Okay, that's for now. That's not going to be your story always. Eventually you'll be off paper. And hopefully by the time you are and you have a choice about going to meetings, you will choose to continue to fellowship with Narcotics Anonymous. I love this one. This one to me, of all the ones I've read, I want to say that this one, and there's probably one other one, but this one is something that stimulates me me psychologically it stimulates my mind and I just love it I hope you do too I'll be talking to you tomorrow have a beautiful day